have his name visible. Honest advertising, question all advertising, even mine. So, see the highest standard practitioners. If you have an honest document qualifying any illness, if you value your medical legal health, if you grow your own medicine for sure, importance of credibility, obvious. Uh, let us in, I'll close with a couple of, I, don't, I won't do that. Be, doctors be knowledgeable, accessible, and credible. Cannabis, why don't you win? Okay, Dennis Perone, uh, this is again, one, one minute. Dennis Perone had gone, gone from this little club to the five-story one on Market Street before Prop 215 ever passed. I was privileged to be invited to the open house at the beginning and I walk in and this is five-story building. I had a disco downstairs, you know, everything. And I was very impressed. I said to Dennis, wow, this is great. How many, how many clients do you have, patients? And he says, that's oh, several thousand. And I said, that's great. He says, there's a lot of sick patients. And I felt really bad for having said that. But why are we going to win? Cannabis is safe and effective medicine. And there's a lot of sick people. Thank you. I think I screwed Dr. Todd out of a couple of minutes by, by mistake. You got eight minutes instead, everybody else got ten or more. I'm sorry. All right, thank you so much for all of our panelists. After this, uh, we, we have a wonderful luncheon. Please be sure to make sure that you've got your badge when you go in. That is your ticket into the luncheon. If you don't have it, they will not let you in.
Uh, and uh, we immediately uh, had something in common. I was just blown away by uh, the fact that here was a guy who had read all eight volumes and 3,300 pages of the India Hemp Commission report. Now, I read a couple of pages uh, of Todd's uh, uh, report on that uh, on his web page, and that's about uh, all I can handle. This is not uh, what you want to call breathless prose, written by a bunch of 19th century uh, Brits. And nevertheless, Todd had that kind of intellectual uh, curiosity, uh, and he's had it for a long time. I consider him uh, to be the principal mover of the reintroduction of cannabis as medicine uh, after 1950. Uh, and I think that the, in addition to being uh, incredibly brave and outspoken, he's also developed uh, great data collection techniques. Uh, the questionnaires that most of us use, and these started out as the same patient questionnaire that uh, Dr. McRea uh, uh, used. Uh, he had the you know, personal integrity when he worked for NI, uh, uh, NIH to stand up to them and tell them that they had no integrity, if they were not really going to do research on that one, and they were going to do research only on uh, its negative effects. And I think the reason that his colleagues asked me to uh, say a few words about Bob and introduce him was so I could tell this uh, one, uh, I don't even know if I would call it an embarrassing story, but I think it goes along with how Todd is larger than life. And uh, this was one Halloween uh, in the late 60s, I went over to Todd's house and he was, he was out in the driveway working on his costume, and it, it, it was a long, thin tape. Uh, and uh, it had a styrofoam top and a hole in it uh, through which whipped cream went. And Todd was, was looking at it, admiring it, and saying, uh, hey, do you think this is anatomically correct? <laughs> so here's a man with uh, a great attention to detail. Uh, and he may talk a little bit about anatomical correctness, and I think that he will do a little attacking of political correctness, and it uh, gives me great honor, great honor, to be the person selected to uh, present the plaque that you just heard uh, to Todd McAvea. Todd, why don't you come up here and be honored. as a sophomore at Temple University School of Medicine in Philadelphia. I was uh, smitten by an inappropriate attack of curiosity when my eyes wandered over an unsigned chapter in the pharmaceutical, pharma, pharmacological text, Goodman and Gilman, a uh, nine-page uh, chapter on cannabis. And that uh, made me wonder, why was this seemingly benign uh, medicine turned into such a criminal item. And uh, that has started me on a long, strange trip. <laughs> that first was I read everything in the library at med school. Then um, that summer did a brief, uh, as it were, laboratory experiment uh, in Salt Peter, Mexico, in the solitude of my hotel room after obtaining some of this material from a street merchant, <clears throat> having learned a different argot for cannabis. And after trying it, uh, after saying, okay, buddy, here, take a few puffs, and pick out one of the joints from the package, um, and saw that he didn't hesitate, then I said, okay, gracias, and goodbye. <clears throat> and then uh, try that myself. This was uh, interestingly about uh, a couple of years, well, 